JT, uh, congratulations. You set a single season record for touchdowns. Um, when you started this adventure, what was the goal? Win games. Bottom line, uh, I mean, I didn't even know I was close to that. Uh, I mean, glad it happened, but I mean, my mindset all the time is win games and all the individual accolades come by themselves. I mean, so it wasn't really a focus on it, but I'm glad it happened. Is there relief getting out of here today? Um, yeah, I think the way we played in the first half, uh, my interception just fumbled uh, in the uh, in the end zone, things like that. Things just shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, yeah, you could say that. JT, you set a record today for touchdowns accounted for. You set, uh, you're right there with Troy Smith almost with uh, touchdown passes in a season. Uh, longest run from scrimmage by a Ohio State quarterback. What, how would you describe this day? Um, I think it was, uh, i say, kind of rough. Uh, definitely going at first in the first half, uh, but definitely got better in the second half. Just calmed down, um, made adjustments. Coach Sav did a good job of adjustments uh, in the second uh, at halftime. So uh, definitely at first uh, rough being that. We were moving the ball, making plays, uh, but then just not finishing it off and scoring touchdowns. And the other thing, uh, I think last week you didn't have a glove when you were throwing hands, right? You played with that? Yeah. Today you did. Did that affect you at all, throwing wise in the first half, or did it, how would you just? What was your, where were your thoughts on that? No, uh, I practiced with a glove this week, uh, so I don't think that was a, a big factor. I just got to make the throws. I mean, they're simple uh, adjustments. Like no, I have not. Being from North Texas, I mean, it gets cold, get a little icy, but that's around February, and this is November. And uh, it was it was cold out there. JT, can you take me through the run uh, where you broke the rec broke the record, about 86 yard or whatever it was? I mean, you ran about 150 on it. It was kind of a little curve to it. Did you did you think you had it the whole way? Uh, not really. So wow, it got through the line of scrimmage and uh, see this uh, cornerback, and so I was cut it back, and then I was like, oh, there's no grass out here. So then I see like. People were right here, so I'm looking back and I'm like, oh snap, I better take it another way, otherwise they're going to get me. So that was about it, but it was a great job up front blocking. It's kind of like Tech Mobile. Yeah, definitely. Bob. JT, have you ever had a 86 yard run before, even in high school? Uh, I think I did in high school, but I'm not for certain. It, it, and does that, does that, you consider yourself a guy who, Goes, you know, this is a school record of at Ohio State for a quarterback, 86 mm -hmm. yards. Does that surprise you that you would, out of all the quarterbacks that have played at Ohio State, including Braxton, you had the previous record? Does that surprise you that you would have the longest? Um, yeah, a little bit. Knowing Braxton's ability to run, uh, I mean, he does some freaky stuff when he has the ball in his hands. But uh, I mean, would I? Would my surprise that? I mean, you consider you consider yourself. I mean, you think of yourself as a as a guy who goes routinely goes 86 yards. No. You take the ball from scrimmage and go 86. No, not really. I just, I mean, I feel like I have the ability to run, but I mean, I definitely don't have crazy breakaway speed like Braxton. So, uh, I mean, that's like I just said, I had to veer off to run away from people that was coming after me. So Braxton, he just runs straight and he's good. So, uh, I mean, not back. Really. Back row left, Brian. JT, so how long I see my is your speed underrated a little bit? The urban's cracking. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they did underrate my speed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I mean, the off season, you know, workouts. I'm normally in front, but that was more, you know, conditioning, endurance. I'm pretty good at that. But I mean, we talk about it like four eight, and I'm like, man, don't play me like that. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, now now they're talking about I was the slowest. Secondary in the Big Ten, I was like, oh, now nah, I got to be something else. But yeah. <laughs> that, was good, that was good defense, man. We'll move forward here. For, uh, third row left, Doug. JT, I mean, turnovers are part of the game sometimes. For you guys to commit a couple today, is that just, does that just happen, or is that something that's concerning at all? Um, I think it was just happened. Uh, I don't think it's a big concern. Uh, I think it, things, I mean, there are things that we could fix, uh, being that one inside nine I threw, I threw it outside. and. Uh, let them, which you don't do that. You throw it inside and let them run under it, things like that. And then 
uh, turnovers with Jalen, just not protecting the ball. So it's little things that we could fix. Um, so I think it just happens. What do you what do you say to Jalen? I mean, you're a teammate, you're a leader of the team now, and stuff. What do you say to Jalen to bring him around a little bit? Yeah, I just told him I was like, Jalen, you didn't have to do anything crazy. I mean, look, we all mess up in this game. Um, I mean, I threw an interception, but the thing about it is that you just keep on playing the game. You don't have to try to make up for it and do something outside your character. And I mean, that's basically what I just told him. Last couple of questions, Todd. Did it did it feel like a close game out there? In other words, if you didn't have a scoreboard to look up to, would you have thought that y'all was in a in a game out there, just sort of the way the ebbs and the flow of the game are going? Um, if we didn't have a scoreboard, like you said, um, and you would see our stats. You wouldn't think that because in the uh, first half we had so many uh, yards. But um, no, nah, I mean it was it was a tough game. Uh, they were rugged. Uh, on defense, um, they flew around, flying around the ball, rallied to the ball. So, um, yeah, I guess you would say that just being how like we played, the two tough teams going against each other. Um, and so, final question, Bill. You guys really struggled with a downfield passing game. How much of that was the weather, and how much of it was just not doing well in that area? Um, I think um, I don't think the weather was a big factor. It was just me. And the receivers not being on one accord, and just I think that's what it was. Uh, a lot on myself, not making uh, plays, putting the ball where it needs to be, and which I mean, just have to fix that. So when you, I mean, you have these records and almost two yard passing and running, how do you look at how you played that? Um, I mean, it was okay. I don't think it was anything crazy and shout about. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Just, I mean, I'm hard on myself too, but I mean, it's things that I normally do make plays. I feel like I'm pretty accurate throwing the football, and then when you come out here in a game, you, you're not accurate. It's, you know, kind of like, well, what are we talking about? You say you are accurate, but you're not being accurate. So, um, so it was just okay.